So Aaron, I, I'd, I'd like to ask you if you could uh, to tell us a little bit about yourself and your growth as a worship leader. I'm very interested in this because, uh, you know, just in what I know about you, you've, you began to write worship music even at a young age. What was your relationship with God like? How did, how did that happen? Yeah, well, for me, I grew up in a small town, <laughs> uh, one of the like the smallest towns you could imagine in the state of Arkansas, and I, it was like small town, small church, small youth group. Um, but those were all actually really important blessings in my life. And uh, my youth pastor, when I was like seventh or eighth grade, just got word that I played guitar, and um, he he was trying to build a youth band, invited me into that. And uh, before you knew it, I was uh, helping lead worship every week. I didn't even really have the concept of leading worship at that point. You know, I was just learning songs and, you know, helping play music. And, um, but it was through that, actually, worship music that the Lord started speaking to my life in a profound way. Uh, maybe it was the way that God wired me to love music, you know, early on. And um, and so I began to just kind of naturally, you know, in my in my house, you know, when I was not in church, I would just like start writing these really simple kind of childlike worship songs that eventually we started playing them in our youth group. And I didn't, I wouldn't have said I had a, a worship songwriting talent or something like that. It was really just kind of the overflow of like my young faith. And um, looking back now, I see that was kind of the start to everything that I'm doing, you know, in these days, right? songs with the worship initiative but man it was just such a like seed uh, moment in my life to begin that way i love that it was just an overflow of your relationship with god what a perfect way for a worship leader to to function in, in that relationship with god and it actually brings a question to my mind what what do you see as the role of a worship leader i mean how is it is it to you know are you trying to teach someone are you trying to worship god and have someone kind of join you what, what do you see as that role that's a great question. Um, I think when you when you distill it down to its very core, the role of worship leader is like any other role in the church, where it's, it's really to serve people and to lead them to see Jesus in a clearer way, you know. And oftentimes, we get that a little, you know, muddy. And and if we're not careful, like leading worship or writing our own songs can become about ourselves, just like for a pastor, you know, writing a book or preaching a sermon could become about them. But when we're, when we're really keeping it in focus, um, it's about serving the people in front of us. And I think trying to facilitate exactly the things you guys were just talking about when we began this morning, like we're trying to facilitate leading people to God's presence. Um, oftentimes I'll just like imagine in my mind's eye, a big banquet table, and uh, I'm not the host. It's like Jesus is the host, but I'm the one that gets to say, hey, come on, like the table's set, like come, you know, sit down and, and enjoy a meal, be in the presence of God together. And so I think anytime I'm successful at that, you know, it feels like I've served people in a greater way because I'm really trying to facilitate their relationship to God uh, just by serving them. And so um, that's kind of my thoughts on it in, you know, a nutshell. How you said like you just visualize just like the banquet table with Jesus and this helping people to get into the presence of God. Is there a moment that sticks out for you where it just everything changed? Because I know a lot of times we say presence and we say those words, but is there a specific moment in your life where everything changed? Yeah, for sure. Um, like I mentioned, God has always tended to use music. Um, and other means for sure, people and, and like the community of my church, but music has always been a way that he has ministered to me personally. And I remember when I was, uh, you know, seventh or eighth grade, it was, I went to my first like large worship gathering, a couple thousand, you know, peers of mine, students type setting. And um, I, we were up in the balcony of this big expansive room and I remember the band kind of quieted down and everyone just kept worshiping. And, and it was like the first moment in my life where I had felt a huge room just like full of sound of people worshiping. And I actually stopped, I stopped singing and I just started taking it in. And I remember feeling that I, I didn't have words for it, but just like this kind of overwhelming presence that God was with me, that he loved me, that he wanted to draw me closer to himself. 
And it was like, again, in a moment in God's presence was bringing clarity for me that that began to like catalyze other uh, growth and fruitfulness in my life in the, in the months and years following that. But I always think back to that moment, you know, I think I was maybe seventh grade and it was a moment in God's presence that really changed me and changed the trajectory of my whole life in a lot of ways. Aaron, what do you think it is about worship music that brings that healing to a heart, that begins to break things off of a person that they have been carrying for a long time? That's a great question. I, I feel like music has a way of just seeping past some of our defenses, if I can say it that way. You know, it's like, the, the cracks and crevices in our heart. Music has a way of just getting past um, what a normal conversation would. And it's like when it's when that melody and that music is it's married to a powerful truth. It's like it, it allows it to sink down deeper inside of us. And there's something about that that I think can feel uh, it can be healing and it can be incredibly, um, you know, it almost can make time for standing still when you're in the middle of a song. It's unfolding and you're worshiping. And I think there's something about that that harkens back to like why we're all made. You know, we're created to be worshiping people. We're, we're worshipers of something. And I think when we direct that, you know, innate sense that's within us of, to worship something back to creator, there's also something in that moment that just feels right because it's like we're, we're actually doing what we're made for. And so something inside of us, comes alive or you know we experience healing where there's been hurt or light where there's been darkness and those type of things and it's one of the most powerful you know mystical aspects of music that you can't you can't grab it and you can't force it but it's it is there and i i think it's the spirit of god empowering songs you know to do his ministry